to another My Damn Toys video. Today, ladies and gentlemen, we have a discussion style video for you. A little bit of a challenge, a little bit of a square off, as you guys know. We have the AEW Supreme Collection action figures versus the WWE Ultimate Edition action figure lines. These are the top of the top, the best of the best from each company, Mattel versus Jazzwares. Here in the video today, I want you guys to decide down below. Let's uh, hear my talking points. I'm going to go through the pros and the cons of both. I'm going to give you the information on both you guys can let me know what your stance is what team you're on i feel like most of you will be on the ultimate edition side that's just a prejudgment i'm just going based off what uh, things i've seen in the comments things i've seen before i feel like most of you will be on team ultimate edition over team supreme collection now where do i reside maybe you'll find out in this video maybe not because honestly i don't think it's quite fair to compare because we have i don't know maybe 30 ultimates now is it about 30 ultimates or maybe just over 30 maybe approaching 30 I want to say we're over 30. Yeah, we're, we're definitely over 30. We may be pushing 40 or 50 now with all the different fan takeover exclusives with your two packs, two in each set. We're on like series 16 now. So that's 30 already in the main line. Then you have all your exclusives. You have your two pack SDCC. I think we're pushing 50 just about or just, you know, right at 40. But we only have two Supreme collections. And I guess, you know, in, in quotations, technically you have four Supremes because you do have the interchangeable gear, which I think is brilliant. But we're going to run through these things man i want to know who the winner is and what you guys think down in the comment section below but i think that it's something that i definitely wanted to make a video on and i want to compare the two talk about the differences between the two get into the knowledge and uh maybe crown a winner here today i don't think it's fair to say though to be fair just to just to you know little asterisks in there don't think it's fair to say because we only have two supreme collections we are getting malachi black and kenny omega later this year i do believe and then we do have the lucha bros coming soon but this is so epic this is the dream time to be a a WWE or wrestling figure collector in general because you have two lines that are the pristine of pristine. If you're an action figure collector, this is the golden era. This is the renaissance era from all these different third-party companies, these independent companies making wrestling figures. You have the big dogs going head-to-head, -head, making each other better because, I mean, you gotta think about it, Brad. They released this Ultimate Edition line, then Jazzwares comes around and makes this Supreme line. Now Mattel's gotta go, oh, shish. They have interchangeable gear and all these bells and whistles. How do we retaliate to that? Now we're back on top with another, you know, they're going back and forth here. Now the ball's in the other's court, and they can play off of each other. Now, starting off with the Supreme Collection, man, they did something really unique. Now, I know that they have the interchangeable entrance gear, right? We've seen that before with Mattel. We've seen that on multiple figures. We saw it with Shinsuke. We saw it with Bret Hart. We saw it with Ronda Rousey. We've seen it with multiples. We get our cloth goods, seen here on Doink, but you also get your interchangeability style with the articulation on it, like the uh, Shinsuke Nakamura right here, but they both feature this gear. Now, this is pinless just because this came around later. Sure that Mattel's gonna have pinless they may already, it's just not coming to my brain, but they're gonna have pinless joints that interchange, you know, they're gonna do the whole deals but the interchangeable arms right here at the shoulders is something that they feature on both figures. I think that is really awesome. I, I'm a guy who would prefer cloth. Now we do have an Ultimate Edition Cody. We're, we're gonna definitely have to do, when we get the Ultimate Edition Cody and we do the full review of that figure in a year, we are gonna compare it to this Supreme Collection Cody because that would be a one of what one guy in one company under one ultimate edition umbrella compared to the other company in that supreme collection so that would be pretty cool but you guys know you have the interchangeable gear you can remove this you pull this off that's not even the main feature of the figure the thing that makes these aew figure supreme so incredible is the fact that you can literally plug and play i have a whole gear right here i can pop this torso off and pop it over here onto this other gear and not just this gear right like i could put this on any cody Rhodes figure we've seen from AEW and Jazzwares. I don't know who the the genius was to make it where these figures were super interchangeable like this, but whoever did this and created this or whatever bright minds decided to come together to give us these top of the line action figures with the interchangeability that they have is just incredible. The fact that I can do that right there and I can have a completely new figure right here. Now they're not perfect. You guys can see some of it. Uh, I think that the joints on the Supreme Collection can be a bit loose sometimes. I don't think that the lines are perfect. I don't think the Ultimates are perfect, right? I think that they have their, their cons as well, but Mattel came out swinging with Wave 1 with Ronda Rousey and Ultimate Warrior. I think that the Ronda Rousey figure is my favorite women's figure that Mattel's ever made, so I think that really holds a candle to this day, and she had the interchangeable jacket arms as well, but I think the thing that holds back the Mattel's is the ab crunch. I think a lot of people would, would agree with that. I think the Supremes, they have a bit of, they, they have some looseness issues, I think, but the 
ab crunch on these ultimate editions is just just not good man it's just not good i mean i can just pull his jacket off right here everybody knows if you have an ultimate edition you know exactly what i'm talking about man the the ab crunch on these ultimates is garbage it, it is absolute garbage this one's actually better than some but that's still not really a good ab crunch the only way you can make him lean over more is if he bends over at the crotch but then if you compare that to this cody look how like he's standing straight up and can almost bend completely over without even moving his crotch piece and then Shawn michaels is over here and he has to uh, if you keep him flat he has to he has to bend his whole butt cheeks over he can't just you know bend at the abs straight up like that so that is the biggest con for me with ultimate editions is just kind of how the i'd say not only the ab crunch but i think that sometimes the torsos just look off-putting we've seen it before with with jeff hardy we've seen it before with this Shawn michaels a lot of people don't like this Shawn michaels we had the skinny version and you had the more muscular version a lot of people don't like that about the figure so they're definitely not perfect in their own way and some of them do have to deal with some some loose issues and stuff like that with the butterfly joints they're both getting better of course but i think another con of aew supremes is going to be the the price point man i think ultimates i mean for uh, what are they at target they're like 34 bucks after you scan maybe 35 bucks i think for that quality of product that you get with the ultimate edition i feel like that 35 dollar price point is pretty good i don't think it's perfect but i think it's pretty damn good when you look at supremes i think they're going to be pushing what 40 or 42 bucks 44 bucks somewhere in there you do get a ton of stuff with it right you get your shirt and your interchangeable jacket and you get two different figures in one you get three interchangeable heads interchangeable arms championships etc interchangeable hands you do get a ton of gear with the supreme collection so it totally makes sense but i think that you, the price point has to come into into consideration both waves feature two figures and i think that at the end of the day i think that at the end of the day the ultimate edition is a little bit tighter of a line i think that they're a little bit more clean cut as at least right now but they do have more out there you know again we only have two figures over here we have one women's figure one male figure i think the Britt baker's great i think the cody rhodes is the better figure but i think both lines have a lot to offer and they're both the top of the line i mean they're, they're the best of the best i think another con that i have with the ultimate editions as well is the inconsistency in releases right because if you remember in wave one you had a legend talent and you had a current talent and they had that tradition going and then it's just like they kind of abandoned that and then we'll get just some random stuff going on i love that we have the fan takeover exclusives i think that it's kind of bummy that we've gotten like there was no need to have that goldberg ultimate edition that we're getting very soon i know some people already have it in hand but i think that was kind of a bummy release i think having what three or we have what three ultimate warriors already and maybe four now we're about to get our third ultimate warrior ultimate edition we already have like four hulk hogan's right and we still have more on the way you have the macho man who's gotten a few now and like those characters definitely deserve it right like I, I, it makes sense to me i understand it i don't tear it down completely we're getting our second bret hart soon we're getting our second or actually our third rock i forgot about that we have our third rock coming soon we have a couple john cena's out there so i'd like to see a little bit more current talent in the line as far as ultimate editions are concerned and i just want to see more figures overall from the supreme collection because we haven't gotten to see them man we have not gotten to see them we only have two figures to compare i think they're off to a great start we're gonna have to see where they go from there of course i cannot i can't fathom how much i can't i can't wait for malachi and kenny omega to get here but i think right now that the ultimate editions are winning but i don't think it's by much i i think it's like slightly i like that we have our one-offs right like going back to the releases for the ultimates i do like that we have our one-offs you know with the kind of special editions and things like that but i'd like to see more current talent i know we have roman reigns and you know we're getting aj styles i'd like to see you know uh, an updated randy orton i'd like to see an updated maybe Rey mysterio i'd love to see a seth rollins i'd love to see another finn balor in non demon gear lots of stuff that they could do for sure man but i want to know down in the comment section below are you team supreme or are you team ultimate again i i'm making a prejudgment i think that majority of you guys are going to be team ultimate but i could see you being on team supreme i i ah man i just don't think it's really fair to say you know it's not really fair to say because supremes don't have that much out there the catalog for the ultimate editions is way bigger than the catalog for the supremes but i just love the fact that you can like let's just say if if supremes had as many figures out as the ultimate edition i may be team supreme because i just think that the interchangeability like that is just so crazy of a concept and the fact that we have that is just incredible man but they're definitely not perfect i mean like just sitting here posing around it does feel a bit loose i'm not gonna lie to you but i could easily pop this off put this on the blue and then i can go get another another cody and pop that on there maybe that's tighter you know so i don't know 
but I want to know down below, man. Something that was pondering my brain and I had to make it into a video. Anyways, before we get out of here, leave me your thoughts down below. Leave a like on the video. I greatly appreciate it. But let's get into our random shout out for today. And this shout out is going to actually go to Brando Lee, which kind of plays into this video. He says, that is one more thing I love about AEW figures. So easy to swap parts. To me, that's awesome. I love that aspect. It would make me buy a figure even if I normally wouldn't. Like you said, a shirtless hangman in jeans. Bam. Without all the surgery, LOL. And that's what I'm saying, man. I think that really, really brings to life a lot of collectors, especially ones like Dr. Whitekiss over here that likes to swip and swap all the figures and do all the different things with action figure surgery. You don't have to do these crazy methods to bring the surgery to life. You can literally just play and pop and, and you don't have to hit any hot water, hot air, nothing, man. You can literally just pop it off right there, but huge shout out to Brando Lee for the random shout out today. Thank you guys so very much for watching. I hope you guys did enjoy the video. Leave me your thoughts down below, man. Please let me know down in the comments section below if you're Team Supreme or if you're Team Ultimate Edition. I'm getting out of here, man. Have a blessed one. Thank you for watching. I'll see you guys next time. You cry.